I'm gonna tell you guys how to have the ultimate winter experience here in Golden, BC. The best things to do, where to eat, what to see. The number one thing you need to do if you are visiting Golden in the winter is hands down, go skiing at Kicking Horse Mountain Resort. Their slogan is the champagne powder capital of Canada for a good reason. They have over 1300 meters of skiable vertical as well as 120 runs. It's gonna be between about 125 to 140 dollars for the day but I have the epic pass which I use to ski at Whistler and that gives me seven days in the Canadian Rockies region so I don't have to pay anything for my lift ticket today which I love. I highly recommend actually booking a guide. This was actually my first time skiing with a guide on a new mountain and it's just the best way to go because Andrew was actually able to show us a whole bunch of local spots that Evan and I would have never found without him. He got us all of the fresh tracks, so much Woo! champagne powder. You cannot come Woo! here without a ski day on Kicking Horse Mountain. The next thing you absolutely have to do, and guys, I am just telling you, like, trust me on this one, you need to go snowmobiling with Golden Snowmobile Rentals when you are here. This is not the kind of tour like where you go in a line and you're going really slowly. These sleds rip, like look at these things. So fast, so, so fun. So if you're into adrenaline, this is definitely the experience for you. They will take you to this place called Quartz Creek. It's only a 20 minute drive from the center of Golden and their guides were so nice. They were so incredibly talented. They do cater to all levels here. So if you are a beginner slash novice like I, don't worry about it, you will be good. How many stars on Amazon? Oh, 20. 20 stars. <laughs> 20 out of 10? Yeah. That's a like good day. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing quite like getting out in the backcountry. Like, look at this. It is so, so gorgeous. I feel so fortunate to have this opportunity. And if you ever visit Golden, this is a must do for sure. If you are looking for a super unique experience when visiting Golden, check out the Northern Lights Wolf Center. Oh, oh. oh she loves you. <laughs> Love it. This is a place that promotes the conservation of the wolf species and you can actually walk through their grounds and visit with the wolves. It's a really cool experience and definitely something that I have never seen before. Another thing you absolutely cannot leave Golden without doing is visiting Emerald Lake. Now in the summertime, people typically go to Emerald Lake and they canoe and everyone wants to get that epic Instagram. But in the winter, it is a whole other magical Narnia wonderland. And this time we actually decided to go cross-country skiing. It is, I believe, the largest lake in Yoho National Park, so it is worth your time. And the drive there, let me tell you, is a whole experience in itself. Next up, we're gonna talk about where to stay when you are visiting Golden. Now, if you wanna primarily spend most of your time skiing, I do highly recommend that you actually book your accommodation on Kicking Horse Mountain. So if that's what you'd like to do, definitely go with Kicking Horse Lodging. I've stayed in two out of their three accommodations. Right now, we are staying at the Mountaineer Lodge, which is just behind us, which is where I'm actually filming right now. I'm really, really a fan of our room here because it feels like we're in an entire apartment and not a hotel room. It's also like literally right at the bottom of Kicking Horse. Like you walk about three steps and you're at the gondola. So it does not get more awesome than that. Now, my favorite subject, where to eat. So first off, my favorite is definitely the Big Bend Cafe if you are looking for a brunch option. It has a super cool, like rustic and old school interior. The pancakes are amazing. Same with their fresh fruit bowl. Another breakfast spot I love is Bluebird Cafe. This is in a bit more of like an industrial area, but the coffee is super, super good. And if you're planning on doing any like day trips or day adventures, they actually do a bagged lunch. So definitely a really good option if you're going out when you're visiting Golden, an absolutely do not miss location is the Eagle's Eye restaurant at the very top of Kicking Horse Mountain. It is 7,700 feet above sea level, so that makes it Canada's most elevated restaurant. I've been here before. I love the menu. So, so yum. Evan and I have all of our food here. <laughs> and I recommend actually booking your reservation at lunchtime because that way you actually get to enjoy the view that's around. So that is it for today's video. That is my winter guide to Golden. A 
big thank you to Tourism Golden for partnering with me on this video. Let me know if you're gonna visit Golden and what you are gonna do or what you did if you've already been. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will talk to you very soon.